What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for oddshopper.com back again with the no house advantage picks versus the house for Thursday, March 9th. Now be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Make sure you're following me on Twitter at Josh Engelman so that you can get additional no house advantage coverage throughout the day. We're diving right into it. Tyrese Halliburton under 10 and a half assists. I got this line set at 9.7. This is the number four prop at Stochastic right now. They also like the under, so we are in lockstep. He averages just shy of 10 and a half assists per game, but because of this matchup, I actually think this is more likely to like to lead to higher scoring for him. I don't necessarily have that as a projection, but when I think about it, I think Halliburton is going to be able to take advantage of having the ball against the Rockets. They're just not a very good basketball team. So I wouldn't be surprised if he leaned more to the scoring end and not towards the assist end. Like I said, I came in at 9.7. Stochastic number is lower than that 10.5 as well. That's really all that I need to know. Sometimes there isn't a story to be told for one of these props. It's just simply, this is where the projections bring me in. I think you would see a little bit of juice on the under in the betting market. So we're gonna take the under 10 and a half for Tyrese Halliburton. Next up, we're taking an over. This time it's gonna be DeMontis Sabonis over 11 and a half rebounds. Another prop that I am just all over. This is the number five prop at Stochastic. I got him projected for 12.4. This is the guy leading the league in rebounding 12.3 per game. So we're coming in north of the line right away. The only negative to this one is that the Knicks are a really good offensive rebounding team that does tend to limit the defensive rebounds on the opposite side. But you're going to get boards from Sabonis no matter what's happening. We still don't know the status of Ju or not Julius Randle, of Jalen Brunson for the Knicks. Not that that matters all that much for Sabonis, but this could just be a slightly better matchup for the Kings if Brunson ends up out. I've got Brunson projected in for right now, and I still got him at 12.4 boards. So we're looking at, like, I mean, this is a pretty big double-double. If you're taking an over on 11 and a half boards, you're expecting a pretty big night out of DeMontis Sabonis, and that's exactly where I am. So I'm in lockstep with the stochastic projections. We're going over 11 and a half boards for DeMontis Sabonis. Now I'm referencing where these props rank at Stochastic. You can see that if you sign up for our Pick'em Pro package, you see the ad on the screen right now. All you have to do is click the link in the description and use the promo code SCORE when you sign up. You'll get our Pick'em Pro package for a week for less than five bucks. It's gonna be 50% off the normal rate. We take all the props that exist at No House Advantage, we apply our projection model to them, and then we give you the percentage chance that those props go over or under. It's that simple, and it lets you get to the action as fast as you possibly can. I reference it every day during this video. I think that you guys would gain quite a bit of value out of using it, especially for that first week. Sub five bucks, it's worth the opportunity. Click the link in the description, use the promo code SCORE, and come check it out. Next prop up is going to be Dylan Brooks over 13 and a half points. This is the number eight prop at Stochastic. I got him projected for 14.6. This one feels great. The only thing that makes me nervous about this one is the matchup against the Warriors. And not because it's not a good matchup, because it is a pace up spot for Memphis. I'm nervous that Dylan Brooks is going to do something stupid with Draymond Green and get ejected. But I got him projected a full point above this mark. He's averaging 14 and a half points per game this season. And that includes the, I don't know, 30 or 40 games that he's played alongside Ja. With no Ja Morant in the fold for today, that's just more shots and more opportunity for Brooks. So as long as he can keep his emotions in check, he's gonna get some shots up today. 13 and a half points just doesn't feel like a big enough line for him with no Ja Morant around. And finally, we are closing this one out with Mikel Bridges under 25 and a half points. No one's going to like this prop. I'm very aware of it. I got him in for 23.3. This is the number one prop at Stochastic. And I agree with it. And I know that's not going to be fun to hear for anybody because it's obvious that Mikel Bridges has been playing incredibly well since he's come over to the Nets. He's played 10 games. He's averaging 26 and a half points per game. That's north of this mark for sure. They're going to be without Spencer Dinwiddie, Cam Johnson, Royce O'Neal, Ben Simmons, Nick Claxton, lots of bodies missing. 
but they're also 12 point dogs in Milwaukee for today. Do I think Bridges is a different guy in Brooklyn? I absolutely do. I think he's able to take on a little bit more than he had been in Phoenix. That's what's going to happen when you're playing behind Devin Booker. You're just never going to be that number one guy. He can be a more productive offensive player now. But I also don't think he's going to be nearly as efficient as he has been in these 10 games. He's 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 riding a bit of a heater right now and I can't give him credit for that. Like do I think that he's a normal 26 and a half point per game guy? No. His, his rates are just a little bit too high for what he's doing. He's been oddly hot. That doesn't mean I don't like him, but I do think he's a little over projected. Even with all these guys out, this is a terrible spot. We have to worry about the potential blowout where Bridges doesn't see the final four or five minutes of his rotation. Under 25 and a half points here for Mikel Bridges, the number one prop at Stochastic. Alrighty, folks, there we go. The picks are in Dylan Brooks over Sabonis over Mikel Bridges under and Tyrese Halliburton under those are the four plays versus the house on no house advantage for today. Looking to go for that four and oh night looking for that 11 X your money if you hit it. Good luck to everybody. Make sure you're hitting that like button following me on Twitter at Josh Engelman because I might have another one of these later today. Good luck, everybody.